After eight years in the online coaching space, we've had over 100 clients come to us needing help to grow their business. After auditing every single person, it comes down to mistakes they're making around niching down. And after we help them get clear on that, their audience growth and sales scale to over 10, 20, and even $30,000 a month. So in this video, we're gonna go over the top three mistakes to avoid when niching down so you can skip all of the trial and error and make sure you're on the right path to grow and make sales faster. Mistake number one, is being too broad. We've had hundreds of conversations with people wanting to make money online, and we've noticed one of the biggest roadblocks people have is narrowing down what they want to help people with. Most people have a general idea of this. For example, we talk to a lot of people wanting to help people live a happier, more fulfilled life. But what does a happier, more fulfilled life mean? Why do I want that? The truth of the matter is that you can't help everyone with everything. And this idea of wanting to help people live a more fulfilled, purposeful life is great in theory, but who is going to pay thousands of dollars for that? It's not something tangible or specific enough for it to be a no brainer for me to throw money at you to get it. So we need to dig deeper. I like to go down a rabbit hole of questions to help get super narrow and figure out exactly what that end result is. So in this example, what will give someone a happier, more fulfilled life? Is it a better job, a better car, or a better relationship with their significant other? So for this example, let's go with a better job. Why do they want a better job? To have more money, right? So we want to help people make more money. That is so much more narrow, and it is also now something that is tangible. From there, if you are able to narrow down people into just women or just men, that will also be helpful in narrowing down the way that you speak to your audience when creating content, freebies, trainings, etc. If you want to kick it up a notch, you can also add a quantifiable aspect to this by specifying exactly how much more money you're going to be helping them make. So now we go from helping people live a more happier, fulfilled life to helping women make $10,000 a month. And if you want help getting clear on your niche and offer, by the way, we host a free offer clarity call every single week in our free community. We'll leave that link down below for you to join. Mistake number two is focusing on the process instead of the end result in your messaging. I'd say this is the number one mistake the people we work with make when building their online business. They focus on how they're going to get the client there instead of focusing what the client is gaining at the finish line, which is the end result. Here's something super important to always remember. People buy an outcome, not a process. You want to lead with the transformation you can provide them, not the route you're going to take to get them there. This also makes it seem like a lot less work, which quite frankly, most people don't want to do work, which is why it can't be the face of your marketing. Going back to our previous example of helping women make 10K a month, we may be enticed to talk about setting up a routine, meditating and eating healthy helps you make more money because it increases productivity. But as a paying client, what sounds more pleasing to invest your money in is making 10K or more a month. Like that is what the people truly want. How we get there can be anything as long as I get to 10K months. Avoid trying to sell by talking about all of the resources and bonuses and modules, et cetera, that they get when they join your program. What you want to focus on in your messaging is what all of those resources and bonuses are going to get the client, which is the end result. Remember, sell the destination, not just the journey. Your offer is the vehicle, but the transformation is the true product, which is your end result. Mistake number three is the limiting belief that the market is oversaturated. Most people think that because so many other people have similar end results, program, or content, they need to be doing something completely new or different. But actually, it's a great thing if the offer you want to sell is already selling a ton because that proves there is demand and that your offer will sell. There's always room for your offer, even if a lot of people are already doing it, because your unique experiences, skills, and personality are what make the difference in someone wanting to work with you versus someone else who may be helping people get the same end result that you are. There are tons of business and health coaches, but buyers specifically choose the one that they resonate with or enjoy learning from the most. You can actually use other people in the space as leverage to elevate and improve your offer by finding gaps in your competitors' offers and finding ways to improve them. 
So don't view it as everyone else is doing it. View it as confirmation that there is demand for it and use it to improve and refine your own offer. Remember the uniqueness comes from you sharing your story, your journey, your experience, and how you got to where you are. Now that you know what not to do and what to do instead, you're ready to pick your niche and nail down your offer. If it's still a little bit too confusing for you, no worries. Join our weekly live group coaching call inside of contrepreneurship.com. You also get access to other free trainings that are only exclusive to members in the group. You can find the link below down this all right <laughs> you can find the link to join beneath this video thank you mic drop see you guys <laughs>